Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today we're going to be connecting up this LG Smart TV to the internet via Wi-Fi. The reason I'm using Wi-Fi over a wired Ethernet cable is that this room is now finished and there's quite a few obstacles in the way. It's going to be quite awkward to get an Ethernet cable over to it. So although a wired connection is always the best, I'm going to be using Wi-Fi because that's what the majority of people use nowadays. Now, in this particular location, it's a countryside location, it's a rural location, so they can't get broadband through their telephone line and there isn't cable broadband here. So they've had to opt for a mobile broadband via three. So this is the router here. I know in the rest of the world you're going to know this as a router, but in this video I'm going to be referring to it as a router because that's what we call it in the UK. So let's see how easy or hard it is to do. So what we need to do is we need to get our remote control and we need to go to this icon here that looks like a gear up the top and we need to press that. And that's going to bring up this range of icons down the side here. So what we need, we need to go down to the bottom icon here. So use the up and down arrows and then when you get to it you press OK. So let's go down and you can see it moving down. Got to the bottom, I'm going to press OK. And that's going to bring up the rest of the settings menu. So if you have a look here we've got an option for network. So let's go down to network using the down arrows. And now if we go across, you will see it will say Wi-Fi connection not connected. So I've pressed the right arrow to get across there. And now I'm going to move down to Wi-Fi connection and I'm going to press OK. And it's going to bring up the SSIDs of the router in the area. Now, because this is, like I said earlier, in the middle of nowhere, it's not going to bring up any other routers. But if you were in a built up area, you're going to have a whole list here. So you need to know what router you're connected to. So when it brings up the list, you need to go over to your router and you need to look at the bottom of it to find out the SSID. Now, normally on the bottom or the back, you will also not only have the SSID of the router, which is the name of the router, but you will also have either the passphrase or the, the Wi-Fi pin or the password, something that you need to put into your device, such as this TV, as a security measure so you can get access to the router. So I'm going to show you the bottom of this now, but I'm going to have to cover up the details on there. So if you have a look there, you will see the SSID and you will see the manufacturer and then the ID of this particular router. So that's what we want to find on the TV. So on your one, if it's a Virgin Media one, it might say Virgin Media with a series of numbers and letters. Or if you're with BT, it might say BT Hub with a series of numbers and letters. Obviously, this will vary depending on who you're with. Now, I'm just going to show you as well the Wi-Fi key. Now, if you have a look underneath that here, you will see Wi-Fi key. And next to that, you will again have a series of numbers or letters or a mixture of the both. And that's what we need to enter in to the TV or any device that you want to connect up to the router. But to make it a bit easier in this video, I will show you that option, but I'm going to be using this WPS button to save us having to enter in anything into it. WPS either stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup or Wireless Protected Setup, and it just saves us entering in that key down the bottom. It just makes it a little bit easier. So that's what we're going to try and do. So let's go back over now to the TV. And let's say if I did want to enter in the actual pin number manually, what I would do is I would go to where it has the SSID. So in this case, it's this one here and I'm going to press OK. And then if you have a look down the bottom here, it brings up an on screen keyboard and then you can move around there using the arrows up, down, left, right, etc. If you've got to do a capital letter, so if you have to do uppercase, go over to this arrow here and just press OK and you will see they will change to uppercase. You've got your numbers up here and if you're really struggling when entering your password what you can do is you can go up to here and you can click on show password and what that will do is every time then you enter something in it will actually show you what you're entering so now if i was just to put in something random you can see you can actually read what it says up there normally if you don't have show password checked it will just come up with a series of asterisks Right now to make it easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that WPS that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to go down to back to go to here and I'm going to go down to where it says connect via WPS PBC. So let me just go down to that and you will see here it says here 
press the WPS-PBC button on a WPS-enabled router to connect TV to the network. You will find that most service providers now are shipping routers that does have WPS-enabled on it. So let's try and do this option here to make it easy for ourselves. So I'm going to go back over to the router here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press OK here and then it's going to tell me to press the button on the router. And it says there WPS push button configuration. Press the WPS button on your wireless router now. So we're going over to here. I'm going to hold down this button for a couple of seconds and you should see the Wi-Fi symbol there start to flash. So holding it down now, and it's starting to flash. Now normally this gives you around two minutes now to sync up with the device. So obviously if you're going back and forth, you can press this button here if you were connecting up to a laptop or something, and it should give you a couple of minutes. And now if we have a look over here, let's see what's going to happen. I can see now that it's whirring round. Right, okay, I'm not sure if that's actually gone through, so let me just press back. And let me go back to network. Okay, and there you go, it says Wi-Fi connection, connected to the internet. So it is as easy as that. So now I'm gonna go to exit here, and now I'm gonna go to this home button here, and let's see if we have any apps that work. So I'm gonna go to, for example, Netflix. Okay, so that requires an update. Let me just cancel that one. Let me go to something else that maybe doesn't require an update. Press home again. Let me go to YouTube. And there we go. So here we've got YouTube. And this is up to date because it says three days ago, three days ago. So you can see the, the ones here. Okay, let's just see if that is actually working or not. Yeah, so that appears to be working just fine. Put a bit of volume on it. Okay, so you can see YouTube working. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.